Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my monthly empties from October. I have to say it's a little disappointing this month. I was sick most of the month so I wasn't really burning candles or using a lot of any fragranced body care. So it's pretty bare bones here, so it should be a quick video. I actually have more skincare than I usually do, which is kind of funny. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get started. I'll start with the one million candle that I finished up, which is Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun. You guys, I fell in love with her. This was such a good scent. I burned this almost every single morning for the entire month. It is warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting, just like a wonderful, sweet, sugary, cinnamony, baking kind of scent. It was so nice. Um, I just like went through it super quickly. It burned amazing, like just an amazing candle. Like a seven out of 10 on strength, not super strong, but still like so yummy. So I think I'm gonna have to try and pick up another one of these. Hopefully I can find them maybe at SAS. I'm not sure, but I love this scent. It was so good. I'm gonna have to get more or just get it again next year when it comes out. And then for wax, I did finish off this Better Homes and Gardens Fresh Orchard Apples. This was nice. Um, this Better Homes and Gardens, these scents really don't last that long. Not as long as Scentsy. It was a nice like fresh red apple kind of scent, but nothing crazy. So finish that. And then on hand soaps, I can always really guarantee that I'll finish up two to three hand soaps a month. So this month was no different, thank goodness. We finished off leaves in the hand soap with this beautiful like embossed packaging. I thought this was gorgeous. I had this out in my kitchen. It was like the perfect fresh scent to finish off having, you know, done the dishes or, you know, cleaned up Kai or something, something kind of dirty. Having this scent after that was really nice. Finished up Marshmallow Fireside. This was in Ryan's bathroom. And then I finished off in my sink, the Cozy Cashmere scent. This is Smooth Lavender, Warm Vanilla, and Pink Jasmine. Definitely not what I expected. I thought this would be, I don't know, sweet. I guess just because it was pink, but it definitely wasn't. And I actually loved it for that. I really liked this one. It was like fresh. I think because of that lavender, it was just like a fresh scent, but still like a little sweet. So that was really nice. And the one actual body care item I used up is this mini Champagne Apple and Honey Body Cream. Just the tiny guy. Um, I loved Champagne Apple and Honey in September going into October. It was really nice, just like fresh and fruity. It kind of smells like candy almost, so it was really nice and I enjoyed it. I did also finish up this Scentsy little scent circle. I had it in my car and I believe this was Luna because the back says shoot for the moon. Oh yeah, it says Luna. It smelled really, really good. This is an awesome car scent. So finished this one off and then I replaced it with Candy Cane Buttercream. Um, haven't really had a chance to smell it and stuff yet, so I'll let you know how that goes next month. Okay, this one is super random, but I finished off this headband from Kitsch. I say I finished off because the Velcro doesn't work anymore, it doesn't stick, but it was like a little Velcro headband, like a spa headband while I was doing my hair. I loved this cheetah print, it was so cute. But yeah, I had it for over a year and the Velcro doesn't work anymore. So I bought a replacement actually, and I bought this little white and black polka dot one. So I was just wanting to show this to you guys because this is my favorite, I guess like spa item that I own. It's like 15 bucks, so it's a little bit of a, you know, a spend for just a headband, but this is awesome. It just Velcros in the front and it also has a little ponytail holder back here. So if I was wearing a ponytail, you know, I could put this on and put my ponytail through the back. It's just so convenient when I'm washing my face and stuff. I also use this in the shower so that my baby hairs don't get wet. Um, I usually will put this on and then put a shower cap over my head and the shower cap actually stays, which for me is always a struggle. The shower cap like bunches up on my bun or on my ponytail and it doesn't stay on the top of my head. So just thought I'd mention that for you guys. Speaking of skincare, we'll move on into that. I have the Crave Beauty Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser and this was like my morning face wash. I like to use a gentle face wash in the morning and then something a little more for oily skin at night because I have combination skin. So either I sweat by the time it's time to wash my face at night, I'm wearing makeup, or at least I had SPF on that day. So I really need to give my face a good cleanse. But in the morning, I like something really gentle. And this was awesome. I really love Crave Beauty. I love what they stand behind. They made, um, I believe the first coral reef safe sunscreen, or at least one of the first ones that got big on social media. 
and they just stand behind a really good social message. So check them out if you haven't. I think they are like more of a niche brand. Not a lot of people know about them, but if you haven't heard of them before, I recommend checking them out. I love everything I've tried from them so far. I like their sunscreen and this cleanser was really nice. So just a little message out there to support small brands. And I finished off a Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. This is my favorite toner of all time. I will constantly repurchase this. I use it morning and night and it's just so nice. It definitely helps keep my skin like glowy and healthy looking. So love this one. I finished off my Mary Kay Clear Proof Deep Cleansing Charcoal Mask. I use this about once a week at nighttime, just whenever I feel like either I'm having some breakouts that need some help um, or like my pores need decongesting or if I'm just feeling like my skin is blah, I'm gonna use this. And this is the first one I've ever used up. This is like the first time I've ever used up a clay mask. So I do have a replacement already, but I really love this one and sad to see it go, but I've already had a replacement, so. And the next item is this Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream. I did already buy a backup. This went by pretty quickly and I think it's a little more expensive. I wanna say it's like 20 or 20 something dollars, um, but it is from Target. I saw it there a couple weeks ago and bought the backup, but the first one I got, I think was from Ulta Online, but this is a newer brand. I did really like this. It's like a nice, simple moisturizer. Sometimes either they're too hydrating and they clog my pores or they're not hydrating enough. It's like a fine line having combination skin between too moisturizing and not moisturizing enough and this was perfect. This one has um, a triceramide complex with niacinamide and green tea. And yeah, it was just really nice. I've also got this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Berry. It's so weird seeing this finished off. It's like, it's really odd. Look how clean it is. That's so weird. But I use one of these maybe every six months, so like two a year. And I finally purchased it in the tube, so I'm excited to use that one. It's definitely more, I feel like more hygienic than st sticking my finger in here after I brush my teeth or something. I don't know, I feel like it's weird. So finish this one off. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, but I'm excited to try it in a different packaging. I just feel like that'll make me feel a little better about putting it on. I did miss this little guy. I have this Bath & Body Works Champagne Apple & Honey pocket bag. Really nice. I love this scent in all forms, honestly. So that was nice to finish. Okay, now I've got a couple hair items. I've got the Sol de Janeiro Nourishing Hair Oil. This one smelled so delicious. I got this as like a free sample from Sephora and it smells just like Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. It smells so good. I'm definitely gonna pick up a full size one soon. I have, an, I have like one more hair oil that I need to finish and then I can get another one of this. I finished off the Daily Luna The Everything Oil. This also I got as like a full size sample from Sephora. I really liked it. Um, it was meant for like sensitive areas after you shave. It worked pretty well, but I wouldn't purchase the full size because I think it's like 40 bucks or something. I don't know. I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> and then since I was focusing on using up some hair oils, I finished off the, I don't even know how to say this, Oblifica, Oblifica Professional Seaberry Hair Serum. This one is years and years and years old. It came out in one of those like Ulta little mini hair kits that comes out every holiday season. And it's definitely like maybe five years old. So I finished it off. That was really helpful. I need to focus on finishing off old hair care because that's like one of my habits. I just forget that I have it. So finish that one. But yeah, that is everything for my October empties. Like I said, not too much stuff, but good skincare items. You can really tell that I wasn't focusing on anything else but keeping my skin kind of sane. Last month, I really didn't even wear a lot of makeup at all. So I'm hoping that for November, I can definitely finish off more. I'm already off to a really good start. Actually, I've got a couple of empties in front of me. I've already got a, a candle used up and a body care item. So we're doing good and we're only like a couple weeks in. So doing really well on that. But that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Thank you.